What's up guys, my name is Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design and today's video I want to come to you more improv than scripted, right? And so you can tell I just got back from the gym and you know, I'm not in my dressed up attire, I'm in my gym clothes, but I want to be real, want to be raw and I want to share with you something that's been a theme with some of my clients recently that I really feel will help you on your path to financial freedom. And so I want to share this one I'll say secret, right, secret. But if you don't master this, you're not gonna be able to accelerate your financial freedom the way you want to. And so today's video is really about the power of your emotions towards financial freedom. Now, I wanna share this because I've had a theme in the last 24 hours with clients where we've been talking a lot about their emotional intelligence, their emotional quotient, their uh, their EQ, not their IQ, your, that's your intelligent quotient, right? But your EQ. And why is your EQ more important than your IQ? Sometimes we know really smart people who are very broke, okay? And it's not a knock on them, it's just that their intelligence is used for different things where we're focused on helping you create financial freedom. And on that path, your emotions play a big role in that, right? And so what I want to share is how important it is to learn not only about your emotions, but how to manage and navigate and change your emotional state. And it's so imperative. And the reason why is because I've seen someone, I've had a client who literally they got so frustrated in a business deal that they said things and they dismissed the other person and it was an opportunity for a seven figure payday if they would have locked that deal in. And so I don't know about you, I don't think getting angry or frustrated is worth seven figures, right? You could do a lot of good, you can make a lot of impact, a lot of charities, a lot of, you can create financial freedom for yourself, right? There's so much you can do with that resource, right? But it was because of their low EQ that they missed out on an opportunity. And so I don't want that to happen to you. So let's jump in on kind of the theme that's been playing out and how you can take it. Now, let's be honest, in life and business, it's kind of like a roller coaster, right? Like we can find ourselves where we have high highs and we have low lows. And I see that in the beginning of entrepreneurship when people are doing a startup or they're just jumping into real estate or trading or any, you know, uh, network marketing, anything that can create passive income or any business. And the one thing that we want to make sure is that we navigate the the low lows, right? We don't want to, if this is a baseline, if we have a baseline here, we don't want to go too high and we don't want to go too low. And so what we want to make sure that we're doing is we want to be able, if this is the baseline to have our high, but then come back down and then come back down. And the way we do that is the first step is you got to have awareness. You gotta have awareness of the emotion that you're experiencing. You gotta be able to identify is it anger, frustration, sadness, depression, like what is it? You have to be aware that you're in a negative state, right? Because without awareness, you can't change anything. And so I know that's pretty simple and pretty basic, but you have to be able to identify what emotional experience you're feeling so that you can start to say, okay, I'm feeling angry, I'm feeling frustrated. Your awareness, your mindfulness is there. Now the question is, how long do you stay there? I always tell clients all the time, it's normal to have emotions, different emotional experiences, different emotional experiences, but what's not normal is if you live in the low ones, right? You're just not called to live there. Right, you can you could go visit a jail, but you're not supposed to live there. And I mean visit like as in seeing it like Alcatraz in San Francisco. All right, um, but you're not supposed to live there. You're not supposed to live in frustration, anger, sadness, depression, victimhood. That's the biggest one for a lot of people. On and the reason why they give up on the path of financial freedom is really the victim identity and that emotional experience there. And so what I always like to say, and you know, I learned this from Tony Robbins, honestly, is you give yourself a certain amount of time to experience that emotion. So if you're angry or frustrated, give yourself five, 10 minutes to be angry, pissed off, frustrated, whatever that might be. And then what do you do from there? Well, you have to shift it. And so I like to think in those five to 10 minutes, I like to express that emotion to get it out because we do not want to create emotional baggage. If you create emotional baggage, it's like you're stuffing that emotion down. 
So if you stuff anger down, next time an experience happens when you are actually angry, instead of just being angry at that one situation, you're now angry at both situations. So your reaction is magnified, it's amplified. We don't want that experience. That's where you see people and they're like, whoa, where did that come from? Why did they just flip out like that? And it's because they actually probably have unresolved baggage they never dealt with. They started suppressing their emotions versus expressing their emotions. There's one thing you could do is express. Now, does that mean yell at your wife, husband, children, you know, coworkers, employees, boss, whatever? No, it doesn't mean that. It means you, and here's the second step, you have to find a healthy way to process that emotion. So one of the things I like to do if I'm angry, and I'm just using anger as an example, or my clients, one of the things I like to do is I tell them, go get a pillow and I put it in your face and just yell as loud and as long as you can. And I'm like, good, do it again. And they're ah, do it again, ah, do it again, ah. And they feel a release. What we're trying to do is, and if this is the baseline, we don't want them to stay down here. My goal is for them to release so they start to elevate and hopefully get back to neutral, get back to zero. Because if you're neutral about something, if you've let something go, you no longer have to carry it, right? It's like if I, if I let go of this pen, I no longer have to carry it. It's not heavy right now, but if I carry that for a week, that anger for a month, a year, 10 years, 50 years, if it's heavy. This pen, if I hold my arm out straight like this, right? It gets heavy after a while. I don't care how light this is. You have anger, so you're just angry over the small things and you suppress it and you create that emotional baggage, you carry it with you. What's gonna happen is it's gonna get extremely heavy over time. So the second one is you have to process these emotions. So I gave you the example of the pillow. Look, you can go to the gym. I love going to the gym, that helps, or going for a run, um, talking it out, journaling. There's so many ways to be able to process that, but the biggest one and the most effective and quickest one is the power of deep breathing. When you can stop, close your eyes from every other sense out there, or all close, shut down your other senses and just breathe in your nose and out your mouth. For an extended period of time, what happens is the biochemistry inside of you starts to shift. The cortisol from like the fear, the anger, the frustration, whatever it is, that fight or flight mode, if you're talking about those emotions, what happens is your body starts processing that and releasing it. And so all of a sudden you start to feel different. Now. Once you've processed, where do you go from there? Well, after you've had your five, 10, 15 minutes of you know whatever, your anger, your frustration, your sadness, what you wanna do from that point forward is you wanna be able to declare or decide, what, how do I wanna feel, right? What is it that I, how do I wanna feel moving forward? Do I wanna feel powerful? Do I wanna feel empowered? Do I wanna feel excited, passionate? What do I wanna feel, right? And that's where, and we'll go into other videos and I know I've made other videos in the past around your state where manipulating, shifting or changing your physiology, what you focus on, what you say external or even internal, your self-talk starts to make a shift in how you feel. And so we'll cover that in other videos. If you have any questions, comment below, we'll get you that link or we'll get you resources to help you really understand that at a deeper level. But I know I made videos on that in the past so we can link those uh, maybe in this video or in the comments below. So I'm gonna decide how I wanna feel and then shift to that. Shift to that emotional state. The biggest thing I would like to just ask is like, what would you have to believe in order to feel blank, confident, powerful, empowered? I had to believe that today was gonna be the best day ever, that I was gonna make a sale today, that I was gonna help a client break through today. What would you need to believe in order to feel that new way? Because there's thoughts that are causing anger, frustration, resentment, sadness, depression, there's specific thoughts that are creating it. So what would you have to think or what would you have to believe in order to feel that new state that you wanna feel? Now. Once you get there, and that's a process, it could take five minutes, it could take 50 minutes, it could take an hour, I don't really know. But what we want to do once we're there is we wanna start building this skill set's muscle. It's a muscle to be able to make that shift. It took me weeks to get out of a certain state at times. Then it took a week, and then it took a few days, and then it took an entire day, and then it took a few hours, and then it took an hour, and then 30 minutes, and then 10 minutes, right? And so you're building this muscle. You can't bench press 300 pounds right away. You might need to start at 85 pounds. 
And next time something happens, you get, you're, you're that much stronger. You do 90 until eventually you hit that 300 pounds and it's easy for you to change like that. Don't buy into the thought that the people who are very good at managing their emotions, they're very mature in their emotional state and managing their emotions, that it came like that to them. It didn't, it took work, it still takes work for a lot of people out there. How do I know? One, A, I live it, and two, I coach it. I see behind the doors of so many people, very successful and those that are starting out. And so I want you to know that it's a muscle that you need to build. Maybe it was awesome that I just, you know, I didn't, uh, I wore my gym shirt for this video and I just, because it's been a theme and I just wanna pour this out to you. There's going to be decisions that you need to make along your path to financial freedom. Do I invest in this fund or not? Do I start this, uh, you know, startup or not? Do I um, invest in this property or not? Do I do this bridge loan or not? And those decisions need to come from an empowered place. I'm not saying an overly positive place because I can be in a great space, a great state and say no to an opportunity that doesn't serve me. In fact, I've done it. I've had people where they wanted me to invest and it was a great return. And I was just like, you know what? That's not my wheelhouse. I'm excited for you. And I hope maybe I might know someone I can connect you with. But for me, that's not it. For that reason, I'm out. All right, I wanna be on Shark Tank. Um, no, but you got to do it from an empowered place. See, a decision made from fear is always the wrong decision. So we never want to make a decision out of fear. We always want to do it from an empowered place. We can say yes or no from an empowered place. That These small decisions, right, based on your emotional state in that moment, will determine whether or not you go to that next level towards financial freedom. So with that being said, your emotional state is so important. The best thing you can do is learn how to be aware of the state you're in and process any emotions that aren't serving you and decide how do I wanna feel? What would I need to focus on? Or what would I need to believe? Or what would that thought need to be in order for me to feel that way? So that you can start to shift how you feel. The more that you practice this, the more you build a muscle, the more mature you will get in this. And with that maturity comes different decisions and with those different decisions produce different results and that on your path to financial freedom can change everything it can accelerate you or it can hold you back like a break right like I said I have people who lost out on a seven-figure deal because they couldn't manage their anger in the situation where they would have stopped the process their emotion came back got in a curious state and even if it wasn't to their favor how could they kind of find the middle ground they would have been able to do a deal and he would have got a six or seven figure payout in that situation. So don't be that guy. I wanna make sure, or girl, I wanna make sure that as you're watching this, that you start to look at, wow, my emotions are important. Well, look at sports, right? When the game's on the line and a ref calls a bad call, if you don't have emotional intelligence, what's gonna happen? You're gonna freak out and they're gonna throw a penalty. They're gonna throw another technical foul that allows the other team to take advantage of your lack of maturity in your emotional state. So with that being said, I hope today's video helped you. If you found it useful, make sure you comment below, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and also more importantly, that notification bell so when videos like this come out, we can notify you that, hey, another video is out. Check it out, watch it, let us know what you think because we're always bringing on people for the Millionaire Series, always dropping nuggets from my clients, wisdom that I've learned from personal experience and professional experiences so that we can help you accelerate to your path to financial freedom. And on a side note, I'm gonna start getting my wifey for lifey in on these videos. She's gorgeous, she's intelligent, she's powerful. So I'm excited to bring her to you guys because she brings a whole different dynamic, this feminine dynamic that kicks butt. She, she is not, she don't mess around. But I'm excited to have her and you know, the unleash her to you guys because you guys are gonna get some good nuggets as well on the path to financial freedom. So with that, my name is Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Thanks for watching. Have a great one. See you guys.